I told him before he came into this workout, you need to do the little things a lot better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. He's been a kid who's been listening to a lot of people throughout his tenure at Texas, hasn't really had the kind of consistency that you want him to have. But he does have the work ethic. He needs to come out here and show that he's willing to work and put in the time to be the best he can be. Just, just every day we're just trying to get better as a basketball player. Just fine-tuning every skill that I need to. So ball handling, the shooting, and that's every day. We do that first in the morning. I'm always on the court first, and then after that I'll go in the weight room. Get a lot of core stuff, leg stuff, arm stuff. Just getting stronger, you know, not getting too big so I can stay quick. Just getting stronger so I could, you know, knock off guards when I'm dribbling the ball or going in the paint and finishing around the basket. Just little things like that. And then coming again back at night to shoot. So, I mean, just that's every day from Monday to Thursday. Friday's a little cool down day because usually I'm going to get off the weekend and go work out for a team or something. But that, that's really the schedule. Well, one thing about Mike that you, you find out very quickly is two, two things. One, he's very cerebral. Uh, very cerebral point guard, can pick up things very, very quick. And when you can pick up things very quick, it doesn't take away from how hard you go. You don't have to teach him as long. Uh, the second thing is Mike's work ethic in terms of his motor. He has a motor, um, which is something that's another gift that he has. He doesn't get tired, so he can continue to push through. And uh, his work ethic is second to none. He works extremely hard. He goes 110 percent on every single drill. And that's that's something that he's going to carry over to that next level, which I'm pretty sure a GM, a coach, and the franchise is going to be happy about because this kid loves the work. He loves, loves the work. And, and that's the key. His ability to handle the ball is already quick. I'm pretty sure we'll find out over here in the next few years, Mike will be one of the quickest point guards at that next level. Uh, which is something, is a gift. You, you can't teach quickness with the ball. Uh, he has an unbelievable gift of getting the ball down the court. Uh, once he gets used to pulling up, shooting off the dribble uh, at that next level, and you gotta remember his window and his potential is full because he's still got two years left at Texas. I mean, he's just going into your junior year. So he still has a lot left in him uh, to get better. If he, if he continues to work the way he's working at this pace, I see a bright future for Mike at the next level. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great because I know how much work I put in. And when you put in the work, you're always going to get results. And you're comfortable with yourself when you're prepared for the war. You know, what's, what's good if you're not prepared for the war and you step into, into a war, you're going to die. You know, but I think like I'm, pre I'm prepared for the war. I work like I'm going to, it's going to be, uh, I work like it's going to be my last time coming out there. So that, that's how I approach everything. I really approach everything with an attitude like it's my last time out there. And, I think I'm very comfortable with where I'm at, but obviously you got to continue to get better, and that's where I'm at. I'm comfortable with what I'm doing to prepare myself, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not um, satisfied. I'm still working at it every day and, and getting after whenever I have a chance to go on the quarter in the weight room.